Good afternoon, students. This is Mrs. A with you, and I am going to show you one of my favorite websites in the whole entire world. It is called Storybird. So to get to Storybird, you go here, click in the URL, a web address, and you want to type www.storybird.com. This is the main page for Storybird. You'll see that storybirds are short, art-inspired stories you make to share, read, and print. And you can start a storybird now by clicking right here on this blue button. But what I want you to do is I want you to go to Sign In. Now your teacher created a sign in for you. You just click in here and put in your new username. And then push tab and you can enter your password. So I'm going to enter my username which happens to be Mrs. Awesome and my password is automatic and I hit sign in. Once you sign into Storybird it'll bring you to your profile page where you can see the Storybirds that you've written in the past. You click up here on you. You'll see in the top here on Storybird that there are four tabs. The first one is called you and that's where all your stuff is saved and then there's classes and that's your class and I'm a teacher so I have all of these different classes that I have um, as a computer teacher. Create is where you go if you want to make a Storybird and read is where you go if you want to read a Storybird. Pretty simple, huh? So I'm going to go to you and I'm going to show you what's there. I have a message here on the top. Julia Burns has switched turns with me on a book called The Day I Believed. We're writing that book together, and Storybird lets you do that. The next section here is Unpublished Storybirds, and that's where the books that you're in the process of writing are stored. I, there are two on the front, and if I clicked right here, I'd see all of them that are in, I'm in the middle of writing. When you scroll down, you'll see all of the storybirds that you've published. I have a lot because I write with my second graders a lot. So I click here on See All, and you can see that I have two pages of published storybirds. My favorite one in the world is called Slicer the Leopard, so if you want to put that up here in the search box and click on this blue arrow and search for storybirds, and, I don't know, search Slicer the Leopard. Check out the spelling. Make sure you get it right. You'll love this book. I'm very proud of it. So I'm going to go back to the U tab, and I'm going to scroll down. There are my published story birds, and this is my reading list. These are books that I read that I like, and I clicked Add to Reading List so that people who are, oh, well, my students, so that my students can read them, and I can share them. One is by a student in my class. And the other two are um, part of the Storybird contests for the theme of the month. Only ad adults can enter that contest, so don't even worry about what it is. Oh, the phone's ringing. All right, so here's classes. Those are my classes. I told you about that. That's where you'll find all the, your classmates. And create is where you'll make a Storybird. Let's make one now so I can show you how to do it. So... Storybird gives you the pictures first and you have to come up with what happens by looking at the pictures and figuring out what the story could be and it's really fun. So you get art on the first page when you click create and you look at it and if none of it tickles your fancy you click over here and see more art. And so okay any of this tickle my fancy? Not so much. So I'm going to click reload. I don't know why they change from see more art to reload, but they do. It's silly. Okay, let's see. Oh, this looks kind of cute. I love this little panda in the tree. Hmm. Oh, I like these giraffes. I really like giraffes, so I'm going to click on this picture of a giraffe. And I'm going to see that this collection of art is called What You Think Upon Grows. I'm going to click Start a Storybird with this art. I have about 30 more seconds in this screencast, so I'm just going to click on that and show you that this page opens, and I'm going to end right there. And so go to How to Use Storybird, movie number two next.